Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will go through how to automate screenshot taking and cropping them to fit your needs. Let us get started. I have been getting a lot of requests from you guys through comments and emails about how to take screenshots when you are automating your SAP processes. Basically, you want to keep a record of the parameters used when extracting data from SAP. Well, today we are going to cover all of that. Let us head to my computer and start working on it. To trigger the screenshot is quite simple using VBA. Let us head right into the VBA editor. All we need to do is import a keyboard event function that simulates a key press. Then we run the keyboard event function with the print screen button. Print screen button in this case is nh2c and set all other parameters to zero. When the keyboard event function is triggered, the screenshot is automatically copied to the clipboard. From there, you can easily paste it into any Windows application using Ctrl V or the paste command. But here's the thing, if we paste the screenshot right away, it might grab the wrong thing from the clipboard. That is because the screenshot takes a tiny bit of time to save. Here's an easy fix. Just add a quick pause after the screenshot. I have a pause function written here. Basically, it stops the code from running for a specified number of seconds. For my case, 0.1 second is all I need to make the screenshot work and we are good to go. What you see here is my SAP GUI script. When I run this, it will extract data from the T code KE5Z with specific year and company. Then I will export the table to my desired directory with a customized file name. If you are interested in how to develop this, check out my previous video on automating SAP GUI processes with VBA. Are you just starting out with SAP GUI scripting? Take your SAP skills to the next level with my brand new ebook, SAP GUI Scripting Understanding the Basics. In this comprehensive guide, I will break down the fundamentals of SAP GUI Scripting and dive deep into the most commonly used SAP GUI objects. You will learn how to interact with them efficiently using VBA with step-by-step -step code walkthroughs and insights. Your purchase comes with a lifetime access and update guarantee. Your investment in this ebook will continue to pay off as I incorporate readers' feedback and add new information over time. You can get a copy using the link down in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. And now let us get back to the video. Every time I run this, I want to screenshot this parameter page so that I know what parameter is being passed in. As I go through the script step by step, I will identify at which point I need to do a screenshot. Next, we will call the print screen function we created earlier and then the script will continue and keep going until the data is extracted in Excel. Before running the script, we need to make sure SAP GUI is currently in focus. This is crucial because we want to capture the right screenshot. If SAP GUI isn't in focus, we might end up with the wrong screenshot. To do that, first we return to the SAP main menu using slash n and press on the enter key. If I run these two lines of code, you can see that we are now at the main menu. Then we are using the app activate function to put an application in focus based on its title. However, SAP window title dynamically changes, so we need to get creative here. We can use the text property to retrieve the current SAP window title and store it in the win title variable. If we check on the win title value after running it, you will notice that it returns my current SAP GUI windows title. Once we have the value, we will run the app activate function with the window title as an argument to bring SAP GUI into focus. We will also maximize the window so that the area that we want to screenshot is always in the same location. Let us try and run the script. Notice that the SAP window is now placed on top of all my other applications. This is what app activate does. After the script ends, the screenshot should now be on our clipboard. Press Ctrl V to paste and you can see that it is capturing the correct screen. 
Now that we know it works, instead of manually pasting it every time, I want to paste the screenshot into a new sheet in the same workbook. To make that happen, we will create another sub-procedure called Crop Resize Screenshot Excel. Here's how it will work. Since we already have the print screen captured in our clipboard, I can just use it to paste in my testing here. Let's say I want to paste my screenshot in this sheet 1 worksheet. First, we will identify the worksheet where we want to paste it. Then, we activate the cell that we intend to place our screenshot. In my case, that's cell A1. And finally, we will paste the screenshot. Let us give it a try. Okay, cool. The screenshot is pasted, but it's huge. I can only see the whole picture on 25% zoom. I have a dual screen setup and I only need a screenshot from the smallest screen. So we will need to crop and resize it to fit my need. Now, let us get our screenshot looking just right. We need to crop and resize it. And here's how we can do it. First, we need to identify the screenshot object so that we can work with it. We can do this by counting the shapes on the worksheet using the worksheet's shapes.count properties. Since we have just pasted in the screenshot, it will be the last one on the list. So we will grab that last shape, which can be identified using worksheet.shapes and the last index as arguments and assign it to a variable. Then I will select the assign object to check if I am working with the correct object. Click on run, and you can see our screenshot that was pasted in is the selected one. Next, we will lock the expand ratio so our screenshot doesn't get all distorted when we resize it. Then, we will crop it to get just the part we want. In my case, I will chop off 1920 pixels from the left and 390 pixels from the bottom. Feel free to play around with those numbers to get the crop just right. Finally, we will resize the screenshot to a nice size. I will set the height to 250 pixels, and since the expect ratio is locked, the width will adjust accordingly and we have our screenshot done. Let me try and run the script and see if it works. Now that we have cropped and resized the screenshot, it is hanging out on the right side of the sheet since we chop off the left part. I want to move it to cell A1 so that it is easy for the users to see. All we need to do is set the picture's top and left properties to A1, and it is now nicely positioned for easy viewing. Let us try that out. Looks like my screenshot is a little bit too small. I can simply just change the height from 250 pixels to 400 pixels. Now that we have got this working, we can take it to the next level. Instead of just specifying the worksheet, I want my screenshot to be added into the same workbook in a new worksheet. Let me change this sub-procedure to take on an argument which is a workbook. Then, within our SAP script, I will open the workbook that was just exported from SAP and pass that workbook object into the sub-procedure. The sub-procedure now also needs some changes to be done. I will remove the code where I reference the worksheet and add a worksheet to the end of the workbook. The rest of the code will remain the same. Let me try running the script and see if that works. And that's it. Now, we have exported the data with a new worksheet containing the screenshot of the parameters page. That's all I would like to share for today's video. Hopefully you now know how to capture screenshots and paste them into Excel and Word with VBA. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips. Thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.